This might be the biggest archaeological bombshell of our time. Deep beneath the Pyramid of Khafra, something vast may be hiding, something not seen by human eyes in thousands of years. There were, there were no treasures, no nothing, no hieroglyphics, nothing. What if all this that we're looking at is a decoy? A new radar scan released by two bold researchers claims to have uncovered an immense subterranean complex. Spiral shafts, colossal chambers, structures the size of city blocks. If true, this changes everything we thought we knew about the Giza Plateau. Inside the Great Pyramid are a number of fascinating chambers and corridors. Could the pyramids be more than tombs? Perhaps monuments atop a forgotten underworld? As skeptics clash with believers, one thing is certain. The sands of Egypt are shifting once again. The Great Pyramid is a testament to ancient Egyptians' ingenuity, acumen, and technical and scientific prowess. The reveal that shook the room. In a quiet auditorium in Italy, a dimmed screen flickered to life. The air was thick with anticipation. Scholars, journalists, and skeptics watched as Professor Corrado Malanga stepped forward. A seasoned chemist from the University of Pisa, Malanga wasn't known for theatrics, but that day, he brought something extraordinary. With him stood radar expert Dr. Filippo Biondi from the University of Strathclyde. Together, they unveiled a revelation that stunned the room, and soon, the world. Displayed on the screen were ghostly 3D renderings. They didn't show surface ruins or old tombs. They revealed something else entirely, massive symmetrical structures buried deep beneath the Pyramid of Khafra. According to the team, these weren't natural formations. They were engineered, man-made, and old. So this is it, the Grand Gallery. If you look at this and you think they made this more than 4,000 years ago, they actually built this. This is incredible. What lay below the limestone giant was, in their words, a true underground city. The data came from synthetic aperture radar, an advanced technology usually reserved for military surveillance or planetary science. Malanga and Biondi had pushed its limits, combining satellite radar with seismic echo mapping. What emerged was a picture so detailed, so deep, it challenged everything traditional Egyptology has held dear. The headlines came fast. Social media exploded. Was this the hall of records long rumored in myth? Was it proof of a lost civilization beneath Giza? Or was it a colossal misread of noise and shadow? Shadows beneath the stone. For decades, the Pyramid of Khafra stood in the shadow of its larger neighbor, the Great Pyramid of Khufu. Tourists admired its steep sides and lingering casing stones, but archaeologists often labeled it as simpler. Unlike Khufu's labyrinth of chambers and mysterious voids, Khafra's pyramid seemed straightforward. One main burial chamber, a sarcophagus, and little else. That image began to change not with a pickaxe, but with pulses from space. Malanga and Biondi's method was different. Instead of digging, they listened. Instead of opening doors, they watched the Earth move. Using satellites in low orbit, they beamed radar pulses down toward Giza, timing how those waves bounced back. Then came the twist. They combined those readings with subtle seismic vibrations, tiny tremors the Earth naturally produces. Like sonar in the dark, these quivers helped illuminate shapes no human had ever seen. What emerged was astonishing. Beneath the pyramid, eight cylindrical shafts spiraled down into the Earth, each plunging over 600 meters deep. At the base of these shafts lay two colossal cubes, 80 meters per side, carved with startling symmetry. They weren't just deep, they were deliberate. To some, it looked like a forgotten infrastructure. To others, it echoed the myths of underground halls and ancient wisdom. And to many in the academic world, it looked like something impossible. Enter the critics. Not everyone welcomed the announcement with awe. As the story spread like wildfire, skeptics sharpened their questions. Chief among them was Dr. Zahi Hawass, Egypt's most vocal and influential Egyptologist. A fierce guardian of the country's ancient narrative, Hawass dismissed the claims outright. Baseless, he said, 
lacking scientific merit. In his view, no such discovery had been sanctioned and no credible evidence had been presented. Others chimed in. Archaeologist Dr. Arlen Conyers warned against the scale of the claims. Subsurface voids? Possible. Entire cities hidden kilometers underground? Implausible. Traditional ground-penetrating radar, he reminded the public, rarely sees beyond a few meters of dense rock. Even advanced synthetic aperture radar, typically used from satellites, isn't designed for such depth beneath limestone. The science, he said, just didn't add up. The lack of peer-reviewed publication made things worse. While Malanga and Biondi had released detailed scans and diagrams, the findings hadn't passed through the gatekeepers of academic validation. No drills had been sunk, no cameras lowered. It was all image and inference. Still, the images were hard to ignore. Perfect geometric shapes, echoes of chambers, what looked like corridors spiraling downward. If it was noise, it was uncanny noise. If it was real, it was history defining. But without excavation, the debate stood still, caught between inspiration and incredulity. The technology behind the revelation. At the heart of the Koffer project was a technology most archeologists rarely touch, Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR. Unlike traditional radar systems that need to be dragged over dusty ground, SAR works from far above, mounted on satellites orbiting hundreds of miles above the Earth. It fires pulses of energy at the ground and waits for the echoes. These echoes are collected over time and merged into high-resolution images. But Malanga and Biondi didn't stop there. They paired SAR with Doppler tomography, a process that maps how waves change as they pass through different materials. To add depth, they factored in microseismic activity, natural tremors that constantly ripple through the Earth's crust. Every tiny quake, every rumble, acted like a flashlight in the dark, helping highlight structures no radar could see alone. This wasn't a standard archaeological scan. It was a Frankenstein's mix of geophysics, astronomy, and data science. They were tuning into the Earth's heartbeat and watching how radar pulses danced with it. The resulting images were 3D, multi-layered, and surprisingly crisp. They showed layered halls, long corridors, vertical shafts spiraling into the dark. Biondi explained it best. It's as if we had X-rayed the bedrock beneath Khafra. To many, it sounded like science fiction. But to the team, it was data, an invitation to look deeper, both literally and historically. Echoes of the halls of Amenti. As the images circled online, something strange happened. The conversation moved beyond archaeology. Ancient myth stepped into the spotlight. Whispers of the halls of Amenti, once relegated to esoteric texts and fringe theorists, were suddenly trending hashtags. According to mystical traditions, the halls of Amenti were hidden deep beneath the earth, beneath Egypt, beneath the pyramids. Said to be vast chambers of ancient wisdom, they were referenced in the so-called Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Some believe they held secrets of consciousness, healing, even immortality. Others dismissed them as poetic metaphors. But now, with spiral shafts and massive cubes allegedly beneath Khafra, believers saw echoes. Nicole Chicolo, spokesperson for the project, didn't shy away from the connection. She suggested the new scans might represent a modern correlation to those ancient legends. A risky statement, scientific minds cringed, but it resonated with a different audience. Those who always believed Egypt held deeper truths. It wasn't just about tombs or treasure anymore. It was about lost knowledge, an ancient archive a place where myth and science collided. If the shafts were real and the chambers were real, what might lie inside? Artifacts, scrolls, something untouched by dynastic Egypt? The story was no longer about radar signals. It had become a riddle stretching across centuries, waiting for someone brave enough to solve it. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The legacy beneath our feet. To truly grasp the shock of this discovery, it helps to revisit what was already known or assumed about Khafre's pyramid. When explorer Giovanni Battista Belzoni entered its sealed passages in 1818, 
he found a single granite sarcophagus. The chamber was cut into the bedrock, stark and silent. No gold, no tunnels, no grandeur beyond its sheer scale. That simplicity helped cement Khafre's pyramid as a singular purpose tomb. But that view may now be outdated. The Giza Plateau itself has always held secrets. From the Osiris Shaft, a multi-level tomb filled with water beneath the Sphinx, to the catacombs reported by Salim Hassan in the 1930s, whispers of the underground have always lingered just out of reach. These were never proven to be massive, but they hinted at something more. Malanga and Biondi's findings thrust those whispers into the spotlight. What if the ancients built above older layers? What if Khafre's pyramid wasn't the origin, but an addition, like a steeple built atop a cathedral already hidden? If so, it means Egypt's visible monuments may only be the surface of something deeper, something older. The idea that the old kingdom pharaohs inherited sacred ground from a forgotten civilization gains traction. And in that light, the question isn't just what's under Khafre, it's who built it and why they were forgotten. A machine? A temple? Or both? As theories collided, one concept gained traction in the online wildfire. What if the pyramid wasn't just symbolic or sepulchral, but functional, not a tomb, but a machine? An ancient mechanism for energy, water, or even transformation. That idea isn't new. Nikola Tesla once speculated that pyramid geometry could harness the Earth's natural frequencies. In the 1990s, engineer Christopher Dunn pushed this further in his book, The Giza Power Plant, suggesting the Great Pyramid may have once generated energy, drawing from seismic vibrations to produce microwave power. To most scholars, these were fascinating but fanciful ideas. Now, the coffer scans reignited them. Eight spiraling shafts extending deep into the bedrock, with chambers large enough to echo like organ pipes, interlinked tunnels, possibly aligned with geological faults or water tables. Could the complex below have been part of an ancient power system, or at least a functional structure with mechanical purpose? Or was it ritualistic instead? A temple built below the earth for initiations and journeys of the soul. The Duat, the Egyptian underworld, was often described as a series of caverns and gates. Perhaps what lies beneath Khafre is the literal map of that myth. Function or faith, the layout spoke of intent. Whoever built this, if it truly exists, did so with more than burial in mind. They built for something greater. The lost civilization hypothesis. The further the data was examined, the more unsettling a question began to emerge. Were these subterranean structures built by the Egyptians or by someone who came before. Malanga's team wasn't afraid to hint at the unthinkable. Researcher Armando May, who contributed to the project, proposed an origin date of 36,400 BCE, an era long before the dynastic pharaohs even existed. He linked the architecture to the mythic reign of Thoth, the god of wisdom, often said to have ruled before history began. To mainstream historians, this is pure fantasy, but the size, symmetry, and depth of the supposed complex challenged simple answers. Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, after all, shattered previous timelines. Built over 12,000 years ago, it forced experts to accept that ancient people were far more advanced than once believed. What if Giza harbored a similar shock? If true, this underground network would be one of the oldest and most complex constructions on Earth. The theory goes that later Egyptians may have built their pyramids atop sacred foundations, reusing and revering sites they didn't fully understand. It's a staggering notion that the wisdom of a forgotten civilization might sleep beneath Khafre's pyramid, waiting, not in scrolls or myths, but in stone and tunnel. The past may not be behind us. It may be beneath us. The wall of bureaucracy. Even with digital scans and tantalizing images, the next step is physical proof. But standing in the way is a dense wall of regulation. Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities controls every inch of the Giza Plateau. No drilling, no cameras, no excavation without explicit approval. And that's where the Khafre project stalls. Their findings caused a global stir, but without official backing, no one can touch the site. Dr. Zahi Hawass, Egypt's most recognized Egyptologist, remains a firm opponent. 
He claims the project wasn't authorized and insists no such radar studies occurred under Egypt's permission. Without state support, he argues, there's nothing credible to consider. Skeptics agree that radar is suggestive, not conclusive. An echo is not a tunnel until someone goes in and sees it. Still, the Koffer team pushes for a small breakthrough, just a single borehole, one chance to lower a camera and confirm the data. But Egyptian officials remain silent. So for now, the pyramid waits. Beneath its weathered stones may lie a discovery of global significance, or not. Only excavation can say. And until then, the world is caught in limbo, held in place by bureaucracy, doubt, and the irresistible pull of the unknown. A new age of questions. Verified or not, the Koffer project has changed the conversation. What was once dismissed as fringe is now part of mainstream curiosity. Around the globe, archaeologists, engineers, and theorists are paying attention, not just to what lies above ground, but what might be hidden below. The real shift is technological. Malanga and Biondi used methods not typically found in archaeology, satellite radar, Doppler imaging, and seismic echo mapping. Their scans might not offer proof, but they offer direction. A future of archaeology shaped by signals, not shovels, by listening, not digging. The idea that ancient builders were more than tomb architects is gaining new traction. If spiraling shafts and chambers do lie beneath Khafra, we may need to revisit what we think ancient civilizations were capable of and who might have come before. The pyramid hasn't changed, but our perception of it has. It might be more than a monument. It could be a marker, a visible tip of something far older, more complex, and more profound. Until someone is allowed to look inside, these ideas remain suspended between evidence and imagination. But the questions are here to stay, and the sands of Giza, it seems, are not done whispering their secrets. Beneath the sand, beneath the stone, a mystery stirs. Whether Malanga and Biondi uncovered an ancient truth or misread the echoes of time, one thing is certain. The story of Giza is far from over. The Khafra Pyramid, once thought simple and silent, now pulses with possibility. If an underground city truly lies below, it could reshape everything we know about human history. Until excavation begins, we're left with images, questions, and wonder. But maybe that's where all great discoveries begin. Not with answers, but with the courage to ask, what if? And what lies just beneath the surface we walk on?